quads kind of come and go and 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 popularity right and thank god you know because i mean when, when it comes i think everybody jumps on the quad wagon because you can see it yeah you know you can if somebody walks in the room you can see it you don't necessarily see their erectors <laughs> or their hamstrings right but you'll see it on the field when they kick your fucking ass right um but you can see the quads but once people realize you know what these if they're genetically not inclined to have big quads, it's hard to fuck. It's, it's hard and painful to grow quads. So it then they get away from it. Right. You know, they go back. So I think that's why it kind of comes and goes with. Uh, so that's why I hated the trap bar because it's just so quad dominant. And I was very quad dominant coming in the West Side that, you know, Louie would, you know, he threw the trap bar away. <laughs> you know, it came in and went right back out and I was fucking really good at it and it's like this sucks you know yeah I mean if you're a competitive lifter yeah I don't need to trap bar to deadlift yeah the but what I see the hips hip like with a deadlift the the bar stops your hips Mm -hmm. you know the hips can float through right too far you know so you're trying to do it to be safer but then you're compromising the fuck out of their lower back if you're not telling them stop right you know or something don't over pull yeah so when when I brought that up, you said there's a whole host of things that they're fucking up. That's one that I know really well. What are the ones that are your, coming to mind that you just saw? Um, shoulders moving or shoulders rounding because it's here. So they just bend down and pick up. Okay. It's hard to pick up a barbell on the ground really wrong. Like, yeah. you're, like your initial feedback is going to be, well, this is fucked. Something, I don't know what, but... A hex bar, you can sort of, I don't know why, but I i can have kids pick those up just wrong as all get out. <laughs> so there's that. Um, because it is more quad dominant, sometimes the kids with not as good coordination, you will see them drift forward up onto their toes a little bit easier. Um, so I've gone back and forth, and probably about six months ago I said, we have hex bars. They're not evil we're going to use them as a tool like everything else Mm -hmm. so we bring them in we take them out Mm -hmm. you know and some of the kids like the hex bar some hate them i mean it's to be expected yeah Uh, but i used to be we're not deadlifting with a barbell like i was on that for a while then when i got to west i'm like okay i can see what he's doing and then i use the sumo deadlift for their hips (laughs) that helped with our lateral speed yeah, you go ultra wide. Yeah, you know it's just well, ultra wide for high school athletes is still like yeah, shoulder yeah. width. <laughs> <laughs> so <Good> that <laughs> yeah, we're not putting the collars yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but same, you know, it's the same as the box squat. We start on a high mat, drop it down a little, drop it down a little on the ground. That's how tight their hips are, though. I mean, that's that's the determining factor is why they can't get out. Oh yeah. It, oh my god. Yeah, you got oh you got to hang God. out with some high school kids. It's <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, they can't. You know, at best they could do like a modified sumo, like at the Ed Cone stance. Like, so the widest they can possibly be would be in your normal athletic stance, doing a side shuffle drill that a coach would have them have. Um, I would before we work with them, probably. Yeah. Okay. And That's them coming in though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's – we do a lot of high box squatting. <laughs> yeah. And then, again, use that as their breakdown. But, yeah, it – you know. And there's – again, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that, you know, it's – JL wrote that one article on shin angle with squatting, which, you know, he, he caught a lot of shit for and a lot of praise for. It was controversial. I think the delivery of it – and it was basically saying, you know, no athlete needs to squat below parallel. Right. All right. Well, they need to squat to where they're going to get the biggest bang for the buck. So if you know, their hips are too tight, you can't force them you right. know, into a compromised position because you. I've There's done it. a whole host of issues that goes. Oh with yeah. That. I mean, you 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 pop a hip flexor. That's not that's taking forever. Yeah. All right. Normally that won't happen because they're not. I'm going to sound like Louie. They're not strong enough to actually tear a muscle, but <laughs> um, but they will fuck their back up. Yeah. You know, they will twist, they will contort, you know, and do weird shit, you know, with that. So you just keep them higher, man. Who the fuck cares? You know, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's what they do on the field. 
you know it's people can <laughs> you know make fun of that you know they can post it on instagram and people can make fun of their high squat but they better be there to make fun of them when they're up fucking 20 points lebron james's know? uh viral squat videos that everyone bashed yeah he's making more money this year than i will ever make training people he's got more nba titles than me and it doesn't matter you know and i've had that argument about the box squat people are saying well they're athletes they're not lifters i go i get that i knew that when they came in and um they go well it's not sport specific and i go neither squatting without a box and we all know that the weight room's gpp for the sport right so if we're just working on gpp save your spp for the field okay oh man <laughs> <laughs> and the fuse and has blown. Here, here we go. <laughs> Specificity with the box squat. Granted, if you drop on the box so hard you're going to break your spine, that's not a box squat. Okay? Actually, and if you squat to the box, just tap the box and come back up. That's squatting to a box. It's not a box squat. I'm even cool with that as yeah. long as you acknowledge it's... Yes. But you want to talk about specificity. All right. Let's just talk about gen pop. In an average day... Somebody, fuck Gen Pop. Let's just say anybody from that's in high school and above. In an average day, how many times do they actually squat down and stand back up? Well, if you're in high school, at least nine, nine times for classes. But where are they sitting? Yeah. On a fucking chair. Yeah. And okay. And if they're going to sit, your person's going to go to work. Where are they going to sit? In a fucking chair. If they're going to get in their car, they're going to sit in a fucking seat. Mm -hmm. Anytime anybody sits down, how, they're going to sit on a toilet. All right. When do normal people just squat down and stand back up where they're not sitting on something? When does that happen? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, and I've heard. Um, you know. On Pornhub. <laughs> Outside of that, where does this fucking happen? <laughs> I'm, I'm, this is a serious question I throw out. Yeah. And it makes people fucking think. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have a lot of back issues in this fucking country. A lot of back issues. And Brian Carroll and Stuart McGill brought one thing to the surface, which is fucking huge. And that is, how do we move outside of the weight room? Day Simple shit. Daily activity. How do you get up? Mm -hmm. from a chair how do you stand up from the chair how do you get up out of bed yeah. you know what form your feet flat you know back neutral a hand against your thighs yeah box squat <laughs> basically you, you see what i'm saying so everybody they want to talk specificity right all right i've never wrestlers yes full squat greco roman wrestlers yeah full squat um catchers full squat I mean, it's, yes, we can sit here and nitpick and go through and find certain sports. Right. But let's just, normal people in general, when are they going to fucking, it's not like they're walking down the street, hey, I'm going to do a squat. Squat down, stand back up, keep walking. You never know, man. Fitness is going crazy here lately. Uh, they, I don't see it. <laughs> but what I do see is they're walking down the street, they get tired, they sit down on a stool. Mm -hmm. Or they're walking around the park, they sit down on a park bench. I see benches all over the goddamn place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. There's... You want to be talk specificity. Maybe we should spend more time teaching people how to sit down properly and how to stand up properly just because of the sheer instances and issues that we have of back problems right. in the United States, you know, for all the stuff that's happening outside of training. Right. But we're not doing that. So they're twisting when they get up. You know what I'm saying? It's I can sit there and say, I can actually using because i can be all biased now we're conjugate man. We're fucking bros in this I shit got, i gotta put the, that on my ig bio yeah the fucking the fucking <laughs> box squat can fix most problems in society yeah you know my back my, issues my wife she's a physical therapist and her rotation in a skilled nursing facility was mostly teaching people how to get off a of bed how yep. to get off the toilet i've been in serious conditions several times in a hospital to where you needed a physical therapist to come in. My best friend, who's no longer with us, many times the first thing they teach them, okay, is well, how to roll. You know, mm -hmm. how to roll, get on your side, 
and then how to stand up. Right. That's the first thing they learn when they're coming out of surgery, when they can't move, when they're, they're bedridden. You know, the first thing they have to learn is how to stand up. All right. How to stand up properly. What's a child learn? Yeah. How to stand up and look at the form that you stand up in. Okay. And um, now you could make that argument and say, well, they're not doing a box squat, Dave. All right. But we still have toilets for them to sit on. Now, would it be more optimal if they just squatted down and chat without the toilet? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to disagree with anybody there. You know, I, I totally fucking agree with that. You know, are the toilet seats probably too high? Yes. I'm not going to disagree with that. Should high school kids, from what you're telling me, shit in the woods? Most definitely. <laughs> <'Cause>, yeah, <laughs> you know, Put that on our whiteboard. Problems. Quit using your toilets. Yeah. yeah so it's got we, this box squat thing. I got to get off of this because it's, I haven't even talked about the benefits, the physical benefits yet. Oh, no. And there's um, no need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's out there. Um, Search it. But, you know, and I've had people argue with me about spinal compression. Well, if you have a load pushing down on your spine, you have spinal compression when you walk because of gravity. Yes. Yes. You well, also. Yeah, and, and if you stand up wrong, as I'm talking about, you twist. Yeah. You twist as you sit down. The spinal compression, you know, it's, it's, it's still there. Why not learn how to do it right? Correct. You know, embraced. 